The one video model by Alibaba was just released open sourced, previously named Wanx, W A N X. They renamed it to W A N I, which I think was pretty good decision. And where can you get day one support to run it? Well, yes, Kijai has made nodes to support it, but you can also run it in swarm and that's what we're going to do today oh and it runs basically on almost anything it's just a three gigabyte model or at least a smaller one there's a big one over 30 gigabytes as well if you want to do that but let's focus on the small one for now so why would you want to run this well it is open source you can run it locally on your machine it's also uncensored unlimited again we talked about it being very easy to run from the three gigabyte model and later on they're going to release a full hd 1080 open source model so there's a good future in this but let me show you how to get it running now if you don't have swarm just head over to swarm's github there is a very fancy file here so find install on windows download this bat file and run it through and then you're going to have swarm installed it's going to look something like this what you need to do is go to the Hugging Face link, also in the description, and download this text-to-video 1.3b model. So this is 2.84 gigabytes, right? Now, there are other. You have the image-to-video models. These are a whopping 32.8 gigabytes. And you have the 14b text-to-video model, which is 28 plus gigabytes. So let's start with the small one, right? 3 gigabytes. You're going to download that. And you're going to place it into your models and then you're going to find diffusion models and then drop that right in there if you're using comfy it's basically the same thing you're just going to drop it in the same place but you need to download the the kgi wrappers the custom node basically but for swarm it is well pre-installed so to speak once you've started your swarm and and uh, can see your models here and if you can't you just press a little refresh here what you're going to do is you got to load this model so by selecting this or down here, let's say we have none here, for example, you see there is no text to video here. But if you select this model, text to video will pop up here. You will be able to set your frame. So this is how many frames you want to run. Currently set this to 90. If you want to know the specifics, there is some parameters in the Swarm official documents. And here it says frame count. You can select pretty freely. Different values work fine. If unspecified, it will default to 49, three seconds. Use 17 for one second, 33 for two, 49 for three, 65 for four, 81 for five. This model has been trained on 16 FPS. So we're going to set this to 16. You can change your video format here, whatever file you want it in. Here I have an MP4. If you want to create some memes and send it to your friends on Discord, well, you probably want to have a GIF because then it's going to be auto playing and uh, well, auto looping too, I think. You can change the resolution. The default is 1 1. I set this to 4 3. 69 is your uh, traditional widescreen screen, widescreen screen, traditional wide screen or TV. Anyway, and that's about it. The cool thing about Swarm here, you don't have to drop in a workflow, but you can if you want to, because you have this tab over here, Comfy Workflow. Now, this is just a default. This is not what we're, what we're running previously, but we can press here, Import from Generate tab, and we will actually get the workflow that Swarm is running in the back end. So we're loading the one model. We have the prompt. So you didn't see me set the prompt, but I have the prompt here, catwalking. And then I got one of those negative uh, filler word prompts. And now you can see here we have the positive prompt, the negative prompt. We're loading a clip. You don't have to worry about this because Swarm auto downloads it for you. Even the VAE, this one. VAE. The size is set and as you can see we set length 89 and that is the same as our well we set 90 here so it's kind of fixing that for us. And all the steps that we set in the generate tab which we didn't really set uh, are defaulted here and the same the video format that we actually set to mp4 that is set here we set the fps to 16 that is also in the workflow. So this is the back end so Swarm runs on a comfy back end but you get this fancy looking UI, which is really cool. So whenever you generate this, this is a cat walking. I have a couple here. Now, obviously this is a 3B model. No, the 1.4B model. 
which is three gigabyte. The quality is not amazing all of the time, but it's pretty cool, especially because you can run this on a potato, at least a potato that has a, you know, a GPU, but you don't have to have a fancy GPU. You can have almost any kind of GPU. Now this renders for me in a few minutes, but, um, so if you're on a very low end system, yes, it will take some time, but it will at least run. So we got some cats here. Some of them are looking okay. This one's warping here by, by the end. Oh, there we go. Uh, we also did some tests here on a woman dancing and this is kind of, kind of mushy, especially in the face and this one here. I mean, it's, it's, it's something, right? But you can get some cool generations out of this and it's a great start, especially on low end systems. So, I mean, that's basically it. It's super easy to run in a swarm. It was just this. I don't have to install any fancy stuff. I don't have to download a, a complicated workflow and install custom nodes. Now you can, you can use complicated workflows, drop it straight in and uh, generate, and you can even download other one workflows made for Comfy and use them in Swarm. So that was a quick introduction to how you can test one in Swarm. So go test it out and uh, well, have fun. And I'll see you in the next one. As always, have a good one. Mix that up a little bit.